Welcome to the DBA's 36th Annual Holiday Parade. We want to welcome everyone. We are your hosts. I'm Diane Parker with Community 7 TV and Q2 in town. I'm Willie Tyler from Desert Mountain Broadcasting. We want to thank uh, Community 7 for broadcasting the parade and Desert Mountain Broadcasting for being uh, sponsors. Uh, and the Downtown Billings Alliance for organizing this community event each year. And the parade yeah. is coming around the corner. Yeah, I hear those sirens and see the lights, hear the police cars come. It's always such a wonderful tradition. And could you believe this has been going on, Willie, for 36, 36 years? 36 years. How yeah. many for you? Uh, I mean, quite a few, probably like 10, maybe. I might be at 20 something. 20? Oh, oh wow. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, here is Billings Finest, the police department coming right by, kicking off the parade for us tonight. <laughs> Always great to see the kids, the Absolutely. families, all the community organizations out here. Big crowd tonight. This might be the best weather we've had in a lot of years. Uh, yeah. Two years ago when me and you were here, it was not um, No, we quite had this those warm. hand warmers in our pockets yes, just trying to stay warm, but this is not bad at all. Here come the, uh, the young Marines are the Color Guard Escort with the Marine Corps League. They're the youth organization that focuses in drug demand reduction and help the youth of today make better leaders for the future. Our young Marines. All right, a lot of great floats we're seeing out here already tonight. theme this year is also cartoon classic so yes we're gonna be noticing here in a minute I see a snowman probably frosty mm -hmm. I'm guessing I'm hoping some uh, Shrek maybe oh Shrek Ooh. would be great maybe Grinch. some other classics Grinch yeah. Snoopy Rudolph would be awesome so many great floats we see toys for tots coming yeah. uh, right here they always do so much wonderful things for our community, giving kit, uh, gifts to the kids in need. So many wonderful yeah. organizations. Yeah. All right, looks like family service is coming around the corner here in downtown Billings. We're Filling right that a truck with toys. Oh yeah, lots of toys. We're right across from the Alberta Bear, that remodel. I don't know if you've been there, but it's so gorgeous. It is. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. And they've got some good seats up there, too, oh, tonight. Oh, I just noticed that. <laughs> Box seats from the Alberta Bear to watch the parade. That's pretty nice. The Toys for Tots invite you to join uh, downtown next Friday for that holiday stroll, too. Of course, uh, December 3rd, Toy Drive on North Broadway from 5 until 8. I think I hear the Billings Caledonian pipes and drums. They're kind of hard to miss. <laughs> but I don't see them yet. They'll be coming <laughs> around the corner in just a minute. Well, they're walking, to be fair. Everybody else is driving. Right, in the last right. One. They're, they're so they get, catching a, up. get a little bit of a head start there. And they get to carry those drums. Oh, and we're looking at those box seats up, up in the Alberta Bear Theater. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They could be staying inside to stay warm, but it's so nice. I think when I drove down yeah. here, it was 55 degrees outside. Yep. All right, here they come. The Billings Caledonian Pipes and Drums. This is a classic. They come back every year. We look forward to them every year. They usually leave the St. Patrick's Day Parade when we're down here and for that. That too, yeah. And coming up next is the Desert Mountain Broadcasting people. We might know someone associated with Desert Mountain I would be associated. <laughs> Casey and Sarah right there, the afternoon crew from The Zone. They're going to be giving out uh, Christmas trees all next week. And all of us at the radio station are going to be going out and uh, we're going That's to be awesome. delivering those. And there's Greg from Planet 106.7. Hi, Greg. a wonderful sponsor of this event so thank you guys for all that you do 
And here comes Crow Fair Royalty. All right, so they represent the TP Capital of the World. We have Gabrielle Lopez, Miss TP Capital of the World, Andrea Yellow Mule, Junior Miss TP Capital of the World are accompanied by the nine district princesses. Crow Royalty will be traveling through the U.S. and Canada promoting the fair. The 103rd annual Crow Fair and Rodeo Celebration takes place the third weekend in August. Here Looks comes like the Civil Air Patrol. Just went yep, by. the Civil yeah. Air Patrol coming by the uh, Composite Squad Squadron. A congressionally chartered, federally supported nonprofit corporation. Their organization consists of volunteers that serve as the official civilian auxiliary of the United States Air Force. Their mission provides emergency services and training. Uh, there are six aircraft assigned to Montana along with vehicles helping to support their missions. All right, and we cannot miss the Yellowstone County DUI Task Force. They wish to remind you to designate before you celebrate this holiday season. Happy holidays from the Yellowstone County DUI Task Force. Those guys make a lot of noise. They do make a lot of noise, but they want to get your attention. <laughs> That's so right. Designate before you celebrate. And here comes American Metal Res Medical Response. Uh, their employees dedicated to providing the community with the best possible pre-hospital care 24-7. The AMR team want to wish you all a happy and safe holidays. And there is the Grinch, one of the holiday classics. Oh, I love their ugly hey. sweaters. Too. <laughs> yeah, ugly sweaters are great. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's pretty great. All right, here we go. We have the Plenty Crew High School Indian Club just recently accepted an invite to participate in the 100th annual Tomb of the Unknown Soldier on Veterans Day, November 9th. They performed at the Smithsonian Museum of the Native American in Washington, D.C. on November 10th. Their club's mission is to keep their, their culture alive and practice what their elders have passed on to them. There they are. And here come the Girl Scouts of Montana and Wyoming. Rudolph, of course, uh, leading the other reindeer and the Santa's elves through Billings, but the Girl Scouts are elves too. The Girl Scouts of Montana and Wyoming always try to put their best foot forward and show Santa how everyone can do good, turn daily, just like the Girl Scout motto says. And they bring us cookies, just like the elves do. And the cookies are great. <laughs> so I want to say a special shout out to this float. This is the Boy Scouts of America. They provide the nation's foremost youth program of character development and values based on leadership training. And my kid Kai, seven years wow. old, is on this Boy Scouts float coming up. Oh, there, there they are, those little cuties. Those are the tigers. I, I have to say, I'm a tiger den leader, so I'm a little bit oh. invested in this uh, float. There's my kiddo Kai. There hey, we go. How I was wondering you? if we were going to get a There's good wave out of Kai. Leader. This is such a wonderful, wonderful club. We also have Cub Scout Pack 81, so there's a lot going on. Representation from Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. And Cub Scouts, yes. And Cub Scouts, yes. Uh, since 1983, Cub Scout Pack 81 has been servicing the youth in the Broadwater subdivision. They provide an outlet that teaches our youth to be good members of our community through service and fun, safe activities. They look like they're having a blast. So coming up now, we have the Skyview Falcon Fusion Dance Team. They have been nationally recognized at competitions. The Falcon Fusion loves to bring their energy to events to help keep it fun. They enjoy being involved in the community and are excited to be part of the holiday parade this year. Come to Skyview football and basketball games to support the Falcons. Go Falcons, go! And another great community organization, the Billings and Lockwood Area Optimist Clubs together provide hope and positive vision. The optimists bring out the best in youth, our communities and ourselves. They strive to promote an active interest in good government and uh, civic affairs. Additionally, they operate in belief that giving of oneself in service to others will advance the well-being of humankind, community life and in the world. Our optimists. All right, the optimists, they're doing a lot of great work. They have for years and years. <laughs> they have a pretty big float, too. They've got, Look at this. Uh, this is so cute. <laughs> some uh, barrel trains. Oh, yeah. Here. I love the little reindeer antlers. The festive spirit is just so awesome this time of year. Okay, coming around the corner now, I see a huge city bus. This is the city of Billings Met Transit. They create connections that support our community. These are getting, the new buses. They are the new buses. Yeah. They're, I've seen them around town. They're great. They're great. Getting people from here to there. 
Happy holidays. I wonder if they're going to leave the up. lights on all, like, uh -huh. all year. Oh, that they should. Cool. Like they we should. do downtown, sure. The festive bus, you just look for it around town. Next up, bringing in the holiday cheer, recovering families, a nonprofit organization that hosts safe, nurturing, and fun environments for parents in recovery and their children. You can follow on Facebook for upcoming events like family fun days, weekly coffee meetings. Don't break the stigma of addiction by standing together. With All right, we have the Lockwood Pride performers are from Lockwood High School and Middle School. They are under the direction of Mr. Q Staten. There are approximately 15 students in the Pride performers comprised of 6th through 11th graders. The students are singing many different Christmas carols for you for fun. Pride performers meet weekly on Tuesdays at 8 a.m. So go Lockwood. There goes Bill Cunningham and family. Thank you guys for joining us tonight to be a part of this long-standing Billings tradition. And the Magic City Majorettes. There comes They're the a Majors. dynamic group of kindergarten and sixth grade girls, kindergarten through sixth grade. This group offers a great opportunity to improve hand-eye coordination, cardiovascular fitness, and most importantly, build confidence and civic involvement by performing for the community. They most recently performed at an MSU Billings Boys Basketball Halftime and Summer Fair and for the residents of St. John's Lutheran Home. These girls have put in hours practicing today's performance, so give your attention to the Magic City Majorettes. Here comes uh, Perch. Of course, downtown's Billings' uh, newest bistro and bar. Oh, yes. They have a variety of gourmet street fare from all over the world. They're at 313 North Broadway across from the new Alberta Bear. Right, and now we have Lulu. The trolley is a state-of-the-art 28-seat made-to-order trolley. This is Lulu Transportation and the Loft Dance Club representing this float. You can rent Lulu for all of your parties and functions in Billings and the surrounding area. Riding on Lulu tonight are some of the Billings' best comedians from Projectile Comedy, Laugh Out Loud, and Nomad Comedy who all perform at the Loft Dance Club regularly. Yeah, it's How a cool fun. trolley. Yeah. Uh, Montana Movement uh, Dance School located in the old historic Cine 7 building on Broadwater. Movement Montana, I'm sorry, offers classes for students of all ages. Uh, genres of dance include hip hop, ballet, jazz, tap, musical theater, and Christmas. There we go. Uh, look at them. That's great. Okay, and now we have the Billings Amateur Hockey League. This is its own Centennial Ice Arena. The BAHL was created in 1974 and Centennial Ice Arena opened in 1982. The youth hockey is the dominant user group at the arena. It is also home to adult hockey, figure skating, and curling. The BAHL hope to provide all fun, friendly, and safe environment to enjoy the ice sports. Look at how cool these guys are. It's actually nice enough to where they get to ride bicycles tonight. Oh, yeah. Happy holidays from the Billings Dirt Dogs. The Billings Dirt Dogs, a Montana National Interscholastic Cycling Association. Uh, they're the mountain bike team of students from local and middle, uh, middle and high schools. And they're wishing you a happy holidays and they're doing some tricks in the streets today. Yeah, look at they're wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, we have it all right tonight. 50 some degrees, holiday parade. Maybe we'll get a white Christmas, you never know. We'll have a white Christmas. I'm fine yeah. with the uh, nice weather parade I'm okay tonight. with this. <laughs> that would have been a long haul on the bikes with six inches of snow oh, on the Oh yeah. Ground. So the next float that we have is our regional university, Montana State University Billings. MSU Billings has over 115 affordable and high quality programs online and in person in healthcare, business, education, trades, and liberal arts and social sciences. Whoa. That was some kind of a And they're explosion. making some noise. They are making some noise. So they're proud to provide students with hands-on learning research and internship opportunities, setting them up oh. for success in the workforce after graduation. Have you seen their newly opened Yellowstone Science and Health Building? I think we might be seeing some science <laughs> There's some science here. and I think that's what's happening. That's pretty, pretty cool. And don't forget that spring 2022 class registration is open now. You don't want to wait. You can apply now. Learn more at their website. And there they go. 
I wonder if anyone knows the Yellow Jacket Rumble. <laughs> Do you know? I don't. Stop, drop, and rumble. Oh, good. <laughs> and there's the big bus, yeah. So, did you know that MSU Billings is home to the only NCAA Division II athletics program in the state? I didn't they have know that. 16 men and women's sports programs, including basketball, volleyball, soccer, baseball, softball, track and field, <laughs> golf, cross country, and triathlon. If you'd like a full schedule, the rosters, news, and more, you can visit msuvsports.com. Here comes Running Our Equipment, founded in 2018, a family-owned and operated agriculture business offering agricultural equipment repair services in Montana and Wyoming. Their staff's available for on-site maintenance and repairs on most brands and types of agricultural equipment. We also have auto recovery towing coming up. Auto Recovery Towing is family owned since 1998. They are local and here for all your towing needs. Mickey and Minnie. Oh yeah. Very traditional yeah. cartoon, fitting right with that theme this year. Cartoon classics. Here comes the New Life Church's Children's Choir under the direction of Cassidy Biergen and Kim Jenkins. Their choir consists of about 50 kids singing songs from the upcoming Christmas program, Glory to God in the Lowest. They range in age from four to sixth grade. You have two chances to see this wonderful program for free, Friday, December 17th at seven, or Sunday, December 19th at 10.30 a.m. at New Life Church on Shiloh Road. And here comes Zoo Montana. They will once again light up the holidays with Zoo Lights 2021. Take a drive on the wild side in your vehicle and enjoy the beautiful holiday light display or enjoy the lights in a traditional horse-drawn wagon ride with Elk River Outfitters, various dates in December from 6 to 9 p.m. So there's the nature our zoo, guy. guys. How fun. Oh, here we go. scooby dooby doo, -be -doo. The credit union for you. It's Altana Federal Credit Union, the ice cream bus dishing out Will Coxons all over town. But tonight, the mystery machine with Scooby, Shaggy, Velma, Daphne, and Fred. Altana Federal Credit Union wishing you a happy holidays from Scooby Doo and the crew. Wow. Love it. I've got to say, they went all out with the float. I, I love, love Scooby Doo. I love it. So we have Road Rash. Here comes the riders of American Defenders Riding Against Soldier Hatred Riding Club. Looks like they have a little dog mascot. How cute. Yeah. Another one. Weather nice enough to get your motorcycles oh, out to yeah. the holiday parade. for the community, especially around the holidays, raising toys for Toys for Tots and yeah, other Yeah, they really do. <laughs> oh, he's, he's going to get, gonna get passed up. Oh, no. <laughs> St. Luke's Church coming, affirming their Christian faith in the one God who created us, redeemed us, and sanctifies us. St. Luke's hosts a service on Sunday morning, one sun, uh, Saturday evening, and also Wednesday midday. They welcome all persons in all walks of life. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, the gingerbread man is here. Luscious Layers Desserts is a local icebox dessert and parfait company. Cookies, cream cheese, pudding, and whipped topping combined to create a delicious treat. Yum. Luscious Layers Desserts also offer hand-dipped Oreos, puppy chow, and other goodies. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Stay updated on their food trailer coming next spring. Absolutely will. Yeah, I'm not going to miss that. <laughs> uh, Rough Riders 4-H Club. 41 members from Laurel to Shepherd. Their club was established in the early 70s. Their projects vary from small animals, uh, baking, woodworking, and more. Uh, shooting, livestock. They want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And 
there is a Christmas tree running down the street right yep. now, guys. <laughs> I like the gingerbread man. The that gingerbread was that was pretty man. good that for uh, cool Luscious Layers desserts. So next up, it looks like we have Duke's Barber Shop. Yes, because there is a mustache, a mustache on the front, on the front, of, the front of, of that truck. <laughs> Hello from Duke's Barber Shop. Duke's Barber Shop is owned by Sam and Stevie. These two hardworking and outgoing women open Duke's to bring a new fun barber shop to Billings for men to come to and enjoy. The Duke's team includes Sam, Stevie, Veronica, and Chelsea. They all hope to bring fresh new atmosphere to their clients and hopefully gain some forever clients in this community. And here's our Pilgrim Congregational Church. They've been active in Billings for 112 years. Their floats carrying church families to celebrate the wonderful parade. They serve the Lord God and promote peace on earth along with helping deserving people and their families in Billings and wishing everyone a Merry Christmas from Pilgrim Congregational Church. This next flow is How the Grinch Stole Christmas with the Sons of Norway. Joe Tenheim and Lodge Vikings and Trolls actually live at Whoville where the Grinch is trying to steal Christmas. Good trolls know that there is a Christmas in Whoville no matter what. The Sons of Norway are 51 years into giving and receiving thanks Viking fair friends. They give socks, turkeys, and checks to local charities supporting the USS Billings Commission, WRPA schools, and more. When a Viking ship sails Billings streets, it will be delivering fun and Norwegians. You betcha. You betcha. And they get us the uh, Vikings at the fair, too. Oh, by the way. I love that. Yes. Vikings at the fair. All right. Although the Grinch stole all commercial Christmas items from Whoville, their Christmas spirit was strong. They thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. Yeah, Light the World Church, the Church of Jesus Christ and the Latter-day Saints. You can find the true meaning of Christmas following the example of Jesus Christ and lighting the world. Serve as he served, love as he loved, give as he gave. Perhaps your heart will grow three sizes too. It looks like we have Midway Auto Sales and RV. So Midway Auto and RV Sales they sell vehicles and campers. They offer camper and vehicle repair. And it looks like they have a few cartoons on the top of their vehicle. So that is very fitting with this year's theme of cartoon classics. And just look at all the folks on the sidewalks. Everyone is really enjoying this because we're staying warm. It's a packed crowd. This is a big it parade, is. yeah. A big thanks to Lindsay and the team at Downtown yes. Billings Association. I know they have been running around town, I would say all day, but really it's probably been all week setting this up and getting I'm it sure ready. I'm sure it has, yeah. yeah. All the way up to the last minute before we sat down, know, Lindsay's right? been running. So, uh, Next float presented by the Magic City Montana Witch Dancers. You might have seen them around town last month, but today they portray the good witches as the wonderful magical and mystical creatures who live in the winter forest. The group is composed of adults who want to get together to dance, have fun, and perform at different family-friendly events. Uh, there's Hi, good my witches. Jenna. Hey, Jenna. <laughs> they have a lot of fun doing the witch dances. They're po it's really popular all around the world, I guess. So this is Upper Deck Baseball. They're a team that will get you to the next level. Their players range from ages 10 to 18 years old. Their focus is to get our players in front of college coaches and scouts and get as much exposure as possible. They want to share their knowledge of the game with their players while making them better both on and off the field. We have a lot of exciting players right now <laughs> that are on TV. This is a pretty big deal for them. So they're also very excited to add softball to their organization this year and hope to continue growing their softball program with the same goals of getting the girls into college programs. They're also very excited to be in this parade. I'm so excited to be <laughs> in the parade. Next up is Billings Catholic Radio's mission to evangelize, educate, and inspire a faithful life in Christ. Billings Catholic Radio heard on 1240 AM, 97.5 FM, and 100.9 FM. They're also available at BillingsCatholicRadio.com and through their mobile app. And wishing you a Merry Christmas from Billings Catholic Radio. Okay, so this next float, it is it has a blank in it, but that is for a purpose. For the Blank is a local movement from the team at Church for the City. They support individuals and organizations that are making positive change and meaningful impact in our community. Learn more at ForTheBlank.com. Follow them on social media at ForTheBlank. 
So Church for the City and they're for the Blank Initiative. For the Blank and they brought Bubbles. Oh, Bubbles, I love it. And next up is Knox Home Repair. What started as a hobby, doing his own home renovations, turned into a passion. Knox Home Repair offers professional quality solutions for all of your home repair needs. And we've got a big yellow bus coming up. That has to be First Student. First Student bus. is your local school bus contractor for the Billings area. They are proud to serve the community to provide safe, reliable transportation. If you would like to join their team, you can visit workatfirst.com. That's First Student. And love all the cute kids on the yeah, bus. kids on the bus. Didn't even have school today. They still had to ride the bus. I know, yeah. <laughs> Next up, bath. Ziv by Temple 21, the local Daughters of the Nile Temple here in Billings. Daughters of the Nile is an international fraternal organization for women 18 years of age or older, related, uh, related by birth or marriage to a Shriner, a Master Mason, or Daughter of the Nile. They also may be a majority member in good standing of Masonic-related organizations for Shriners Hospitals for Children. They've contributed monetary donations of over $2 million annually to Shriners Hospitals, uh, through their foundation and trust, and they're wishing you a happy... And it looks like the black car that just went by, the Albadu Shriners, they raised fund for the Shriners Hospital through their circus and other events held at their Billings location. The Shriners Hospitals for Children is a healthcare system that is world-renowned for pediatric specialty care. We want to thank them for everything that they do. Wow. <laughs> Wow, are always so much fun. this is so cool. The and the <laughs> yes, children up to age 18 with orthopedic conditions, burns, spinal cord injuries, and cleft lip and palate are eligible for care and receive all services in a family centered environment, regardless of the family's ability to pay. That is all through the Albadu Shriners Hospital. We also want to thank Community 7 TV, Tim, Lindsay, we have some volunteers here tonight, Lauren, a bunch of folks always help out year after year, bringing this parade live to downtown Billings. We want to thank them for all of their hard work. It's awesome for everyone who couldn't make it out to be able to watch this from their home, on the couch, on TV. And I feel like we're getting close to Santa, but right now the city of Billings Fire Department. Oh, I love the fire truck. I love the fire truck. Firefighters and their families followed to the end of the parade. The, thanking you guys for their, their, I'm thanking them for their support. They're thanking us for our support, but we love the firefighters. And I'm sure I, Santa's right around the corner. I'm sure he is. Santa is the big finale of the parade. I see reindeer. I think I see Santa there Claus. Oh, goes. there he is, you guys. Here comes Santa Claus. Downtown Billings this sends a huge thank you to the Darwin and Teresa George family for building the Santa Claus float for the holiday parade. They have built the Santa float in their garage for many, many years now. They look forward to providing Santa's float each year to see the smiling faces of the children when they see Santa. And there he is, giving his big wave. Darwin remembers how special Santa was to his father and considers this annual tribute to him. Darwin and Teresa always do a really great job. And Such hello, a nice Santa. job. There we go. So to all the believers out there, there goes Santa Claus. <laughs> well, this has been another great uh, parade for downtown Billings, a partnership with Community 7 TV, broadcasting it here live to all of you at home, um, on the website, live on Facebook, streaming as well. We want to thank everyone for tuning in to this 36th annual parade. Yeah, thank yeah, you guys. It's been great to host with you, Willie. You too. Yeah, always a fun, a fun night. So have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful holiday season, everyone.